How are you doing today? I'm fine, Bobby. How are you doing? Have you gone back to school? Um, no, I haven't, but I'm actually packing up for school. Sorting some things out to soon leave the house. All right, then. Take care of yourself and be good, okay? Okay, you too, Muffin. Bye. Still on it? Yes, mom. <laughs> Let me help you. Mm, the sweetest. <laughs> I'm so happy you just have this semester to go. I know, right? Once I graduate, it's going to be me and you forever. <laughs> so, what do you have planned for your final semester? Mm, nothing really. Just the usual, you know. Study hard, first and first. <laughs> Then hang out with my friends and try not to burn my midnight and candle too often. <laughs> you would do great as always. I trust that. But remember, call me if you need anything, okay? I know, Mom. Thanks for always being there for me. Kaima, I will always be there for you no matter what. Mm. Okay? I love you, mommy. You're the sweetest. I love you, my angel. Mm. Um, I almost forgot. Let me get you a cab. Mom, we'd have to do that. I can manage. Oh, please, nonsense. Don't worry. I want you to have a smooth ride back to school. Mm, thank you so much, mom. You're the sweetest. I love you. Mm. I love you too. Okay. Another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finish up. Hurry up. The cab will be here any moment, okay? Oh, sorry, wait, my mom is calling. Hi, mom, what's up? Mom, what's up? I need to pick some things from the supermarket, so I thought I'd join you. Oh, sure, why not? Um, okay, so make sure you study hard and um, be a good girl, okay? Definitely, Mom. Okay. All right, I'll drop you, sir. Thank you. Okay, baby. All right. Safe drive. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, hi. You love uh, Rukim's Gary too? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, wow. It's my favorite, actually. Oh, mine as well. <laughs> so, what's your name? Adibe. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful name. Um, I'm Ike Chukwu. Okay. Nice to meet you too. You want to pass your camera? Uh, I just wanted to pick up. Yeah, that's it. Hi, uh, Ada, Adibe, yeah. Hi, Ikechuku. <laughs> um, do you mind the ride? Uh, it's okay, don't worry. I'm sure you're not going my way. I don't want to trouble you. It's fine, it's no trouble. Come on in. Are you sure? I, I, I'm waiting for a cab. I... Come on in. It's fine, trust me. Okay, I'll just cancel. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> you know, I must say this turned out to be a pleasant experience. I mean, Thank you, you. You, you can say that again. Uh, you know, sometimes unexpected encounters just happen to be the best moments. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, it's been a long time since I enjoyed a company like this shopping. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the ride also. So that's, that's oh. me there. Okay, yeah. okay. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, just consider me your personal grocery chauffeur from today, okay? No problem. Thank you so much. All right, Adibe. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of okay. yourself. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, hi, Kechiko. <laughs> I didn't expect to hear from you so quickly. Well, I didn't want to wait too long to talk to you again. Mm. I see you don't waste any time at all. <laughs> Life's too short for necessary waiting, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So what's up? <sighs> I enjoyed our time together earlier. And I was wondering if you'd like to grab a glass of wine or go for a walk sometime oh, soon. That sounds lovely. I would like that very much. Great. How about tomorrow afternoon? I know a nice bar with great wines and got a beautiful outdoor sitting area. Okay, please hold on. Okay. Tomorrow is good then. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. See you tomorrow. Okay. Linda. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you catch you cool. Bye. What are you doing here? Uh, I, I... I just came in. I, I mean, I, um, since you left me in the living room, I, I just thought to come in to check what was causing the delay and... Yeah. Well, you should have called out to me instead of just walking into my bedroom like this. This is really creepy. Really, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think... It was creepy. I mean, I don't mean to invade your privacy. I actually thought it was going to be a pleasant surprise. I didn't know that. I, I'm sorry. Well, I appreciate your thoughts, but... Look, we need to respect each other's space, you know, boundaries. I mean, we're just getting to know each other. This is... really unexpected. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. I... That's fine. But please, moving forward, let this not repeat itself anymore. Sure, it won't. Um, I promise to be better next time. I'm genuinely sorry. I, I mean, I, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. That's okay. You look gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. I'll just be a minute. That. Wait. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Your place is beautiful, but, um, we were not supposed to come here. We're supposed to go out and have a drink. Yeah, I, I know. I, I just thought that, you know, you could come here, we spend some time, and uh, I show you my place. Thank you for the gesture, but 
I don't think I'm comfortable with that. Okay, um, I'm, I'm sorry if I overstepped again. I actually thought that we could, you know, just spend some time together and enjoy my place. I'm sorry. Can I sit? Oh, sure, you can. So, um, I've got wine, a cocktail, and not a glass of juice will be fine. Thank you. All right, I'll be back. Yeah. So, a lovely afternoon. Cheers. So, um, do you want to tell me about yourself? What makes you who you are? Um, well, like you already know, I'm a DB. At 16, I got pregnant for someone who was 18 years old. When I told him about it, he denied it and said he doesn't want to have anything to do with me or the child. My parents were very disappointed in me, but they supported me. They took care of me and my child. They did that up until she was four years old and then sadly they, they passed. And ever since then, it's been me and my daughter. Me trying to provide a comfortable life for both of us, something that will sustain us for the rest of our lives. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm really very sorry about the, the loss of your parents. Thank you. But with everything that you have said, it's quite evident that you have done an incredible job in raising your daughter. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, doesn't she, I mean your daughter, ask about her, her dad? Ten years ago, I got a message that he was involved in an accident and he passed away too. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. No, that's okay. So, um, tell me about yourself, too. Hmm. <laughs> I can relate with the importance of family. A few years ago, my, my wife passed during childbirth, and that also led to the death of our unborn child. And uh, ever since then, I've just been trying to, you know, navigate this cold world. <laughs> oh, my, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I mean, it's been really difficult. It's been a lonely time for me, but, you know, just sitting here and listening to you and chatting and I, I don't feel lonely.
Hello, my angel. How are you? How is school? Hi, mom. I'm doing great. How about you? How was your day? Uh, I'm doing great. My day was um delightful. <laughs> really? Mm. What happened? I met someone. <laughs> He's such a caring and thoughtful man. And we had a date at his place. Well, he's very thoughtful and caring, like I said, and he's kind. He lives in a beautiful house, too. <laughs> wow. Sounds like quite an adventure. What's it like? Uh, he's a widower. He lost his wife and his child at childbirth. Yeah. Um, we talked about our past and... It was really beautiful to converse with someone who understands the trials and the blessings of parenthood. I'm so happy for you, Mom. You deserve to find happiness. Too. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. Anyway, I would like that you meet him when you come back and he is looking forward to meeting you. Okay, Mom. But please, don't embarrass me with your lovey dovey stuff. <laughs> Fine, you know me. I'll try to keep it in check, okay? Okay, mom. So how is cool? Good evening, Ma. Yeah. Easy, 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 sir, please. Yeah. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. What are, what are you doing here? And you're drunk. Adibi, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Adikechuko, you know you shouldn't be here. And what were you even driving in this state? You're so drunk, you shouldn't be driving when you're drunk. This is Stolo, this is Stolo, my driver, Adibe. I, I, I told him to bring me here, I, I, I insisted, but I, I didn't know I had too much to drink already. Stolo, what, why did you bring him here? Why didn't you take him to his house? I'm, I'm really, really sorry, madam. I don't know I had too much to drink. He was out there drinking. I only drove him here. Easy, sir. Easy. Easy. That's fine. Let me get him some water. Okay, ma, please do. Please, Tolu, can you help me sit him up? Okay. Okay, Chiko. Just sit up and have some water. <sighs> To make you feel better. They say that you move on as you drink more. Sorry. Um, Tolu, please, can you take him home? Uh, no, no. No, I'll be back. Can I pass the night here, please? What's going on? First, you showed up at my house drunk. And then now you want to pass the night? I'm sorry, that's not happening. You need to go. Dibi, please. I beg you, please. Please. Please, I beg you. Please. Fine. So, look, can you help me bring him in, please? I'll show you the way. If you just stand. Just try and stand, please. Why did you show up at my house in that state? That was completely inappropriate and unsafe. I'm sorry, Adibi. I didn't mean it. After our discussion, 
The other day we had a date at my place. It was as though a uh, it was as though a previously healed wound in my heart had reopened. I I couldn't cease dwelling on the entire situation. The painful memory of losing my wife an unborn child. It was an agonizing experience. I am so sorry. Okay, I apologize for bringing back bad memories. I, I cannot begin to tell you that I know what it feels like for someone to lose a child and, 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 and a wife on the same day. I, I'm sure it's, it's, it's a pretty difficult experience. I know you've gone through so much sorrow, sadness, pain, and you're still going through it. I, I am really sorry, but you need to understand that you cannot turn to alcohol. You have to be strong. Alcohol is not the answer. Look, Ike, you have to refrain from showing up at my house very drunk. And you need to stop drinking. I know. I'm sorry. I, I clearly wasn't thinking. I thought that I could handle it, but obviously I couldn't. You know, this is not even about the excessive drinking. It's also about your safety. Do you know what time you showed up here? Do you know how late it was? Adibi, I'm sorry. Please pardon me. Well, I'm not going to accept your apology. I am not forgiving you just yet. You have to let me know that you will stop drinking. Remember, trust is earned. Yes. Your driver should be on his way. Let me make breakfast for you. Look, Tolu, I, I, I can't believe you took me to Adibe's house like that. What were you thinking? Huh? Sir, I was only obeying your instructions. You insisted on going there. And besides, you were not in your best behavior. L listen, Tolu, you, you should know better, okay? You're my driver. It's your responsibility to ensure that I, I, I don't act stupid. Come on. I apologize. But you are very insistent. And I don't want to pick any argument with you, sir. Listen, Tolu, right? I know I was irresponsible last night, okay? But this is no rocket science. What you should have done was insisted on taking me back home. You're right, sir. I'm very sorry for not being firmer. And I promise it will not happen again. I'm very sorry about that, sir. Wait, um, it, it's the weekend. Yes, sir. My puppy hasn't called you? She has not, sir. Okay. Sir, so she's the one calling. Oh, fine. So, I'll go, go pick her up then. Okay, on my way, sir. I'll be right back, sir. <sighs> hey. Hello, hey, Morphine. How are you doing? I'm good. Such a mm. pleasure to see you. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Morphine. Yeah. You don't really look great. What's wrong? I met a woman today. 
a woman. Yeah. What's with you both? What's her name? Her name is... Sorry. Mom is calling. Please don't say anything. Hello, Mom. How are you, darling? I'm fine. How are you, too? Am I still seeing you today? Mommy is missing you. I know, Mom. And I miss you, too. But I'm at a friend's place. It's her birthday. So I'll head home tomorrow morning after the birthday. Okay. Please take care of yourself. Mommy loves you so much. Love you, too, Mommy. Kiss, kiss. Sorry about that. You kept lying to your mommy, puppy. Why? I know. Anyways, I'm heading to the room. We'll continue this discussion later. You called for me, sir? Yeah, Tilly, please sit. Okay, sir. Yeah. Um, Tulu, I... I want to make her day be happy. I, I want to show her how sorry I am for everything that happened. But the truth is, I don't know how to go about it. So, um, I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Sir, women love thoughtful gestures. Why not get her a gift or some flowers? It's simple, but it's still a simple way of showing how you feel about her. Hmm. Well, I haven't thought of it that way. But you see, to like, I just, I just want to make her smile, really. Just show her how much she means to me, you know? I... It's a lovely gesture. She's going to like it. Definitely, she will. Okay, so why don't you help me buy a bouquet of flowers and just send them to her, please? No problem, sir. I will do that. I will get the best flowers. See if I'm giving it to my girl. You know what it means. Come on, Tulu, just go already. Go, go, go. I'll take your <laughs> same pins, all right? Yeah, same pins. yeah, yeah. No problem, sir. I appreciate that, okay? No problem, sir. Yeah. I... Oh, hi, Tolu. Please come in. Please sit. Okay, thank you very much. This is from Miki Chuku, my boss. He said I should give it to you. Take it back. I don't want it. Um, I'm sorry, Ma. I was only following his instructions. That's okay. Take it back to him. I love the flowers. They are very beautiful. But I don't want it. Let him know that it takes more than material things to fix a broken heart. Okay, I understand, Ma. I will let him know. That's fine. And please, um, Tolu, I would appreciate if you don't bring any gifts from him or any message from him at all to me for now. I need space. Okay, Ma, I understand. I'll let you be. Thank you. She didn't accept the flowers and the message. What did she say about me? She was appreciative and thankful, but she's still a bit angry. She says she doesn't want the gift and she needs time and space to think. Oh my God, I, 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 I can't believe this. I mean, Tolu, I, I know that I was wrong showing up at the house in a drunken state, but I mean, she, she, she should see that I'm, I'm only trying to make amends. Perhaps she needs some time to process everything. You know it's a difficult situation. I think you should gift her this flower yourself. Um, I, you, you might be right. I mean, I should have done this myself. But I, this, 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 this was a gesture of apology. She should have understood and just accepted this. I know you mean very well, but sometimes action speaks louder than gifts. She needs to see that you are now in your right frame, sir. Um, 
Hi, Ma, there's something I want to talk to you about. Mm, Mom, what police way? Yes. Um, you remember the man I told you about? Mm -hmm. He showed up here the other night, drunk. And I was very upset. What? He came to this house drunk? Yes. I was so upset and I became unsure if everything he's been telling me about what he feels for me and all, if, if, if it's actually substantial, if it's actually true. I felt that maybe I'm just a rebound, you know, there is no genuine connection at all. Anyway, I observed him that night and I saw someone who is still dwelling in his past and who has not moved forward. I understand, Mom. This can be truly upsetting for you. But perhaps you need some time to yourself. I know you have feelings for this man, but you have little knowledge about him. Please, Mom, don't worry to be okay. You've always navigated your way through situations like this. And I am confident you do the same thing this time. Thank you, baby. Okay, so this morning, his driver showed up here with a bouquet of flower for me. And I'm thinking this guy is just trying to buy into my good graces with a simple gift. I'm upset. Just forgive him. I think he has realized his mistake and he sent the flowers to say sorry in the little way he can. Thank you so much, Kaima. Thank you. Thank you for the advice. But look, I, I think I need time to process it. I, I don't know, man. Take all the time you need. You deserve to be treated with respect. Mm. Nice. I like the woman you're becoming, Kaima. Mm. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me. Okay. Mom? You got a message from Ike. What does it say? Hmm. Hmm. I Ada. <laughs> I'm really sorry for sending my driver with the flowers instead of coming myself. Mm -hmm. I should have been there in person. I hope you can forgive me. If you do, please let's grab dinner at my place. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm guessing that is an apology. Okay. Okay. So what are you going to do, Mom? I don't know. Mom, just forgive him. I know you like this man. And he will take care of you. Maybe you are the change he needs. Finally. 
I'm glad you came. Thanks for having me over. I should be the one thanking you. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for the apology. I, I really needed time to think. But I like the sincerity. And trust me, I meant every word that I said. I promise to be better, to be a better man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, let's have dinner. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did you make this? Yeah, especially for you. Okay. So you tell me if you like it. Hmm. I try. Of course, it's, <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Morphin. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Um, okay, see, I have a visitor here, okay? C can you leave? We can talk later, please. Really? I mean, it's always all about you. You only call me whenever you need me. It's not like you care. Just let's, we'll talk about this later, okay? Just, can you leave now? Please. Who was that? Um, it was, uh, it was, it was Tolu, Tolu, my driver. Yep, he wanted to see me, but I told him, uh, I have a visitor. I'll, I'll see him later. Yeah. Okay, you can catch up with him after I leave, right? Definitely. <laughs> so. Hello, Kaima. Uh, you didn't come home last night. Why? And you didn't even bother calling. So this is how it will be when you finally marry Abby. Come on, don't talk like that. Look, we had too much to drink last night and I overslept. Hmm. I guess you had sex too. Now, would you stop it, young lady? Stop it. Kichiko. Oh. Hi, good morning. I'm so sorry, I need to leave. So my daughter came back from school yesterday and I wasn't there and she has to leave later today. So I have to see her, I'm sorry. Okay, so I would um, see you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I would just um, jump the door. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, stop. <laughs> but I said, oh, but I agreed that we will see tomorrow. 
look, just, 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 just freshen up and you'll call me back, okay? Let me attend to my daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Kaima. You know that guy I said I like? He rejected me because of someone else. But here you are all busy and happy with your new man. Leaving me all alone at all. Look, Kaima, I'm so sorry that that happened. But my happiness with my man doesn't mean that I'm neglecting you. It feels like you are. Funny enough, I've never met this new man. And I met him for school tomorrow. Kaima, look. I am not neglecting you. It's okay, Mom. I understand. Kaima, okay, okay, come, come and tell me all about it. Kaima. 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 Please come in. Are you okay? No. What is it? My daughter went back to school without informing me. She oh. just left. She, she sent me messages. But I feel she's angry because I slept out and I didn't call her the whole night. You know, I, I, I feel like you're just stressing yourself. <laughs> She's going to be fine. Huh? You know what, just give it time. Everything will be fine. I know. I know she'll be fine. But I just miss her. She's, she's going to be back <laughs> soon and then you'd have your daughter again. Right? Right. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. What brings you? So, um... You know, I was still asleep when you left and um, I couldn't say a proper goodbye because I was really lazy. So um, I'm sorry about that. I came to apologize, you know. Uh, That's okay. Okay, so um, can you come back to my house? But I just left your house. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, it's not... You know what I think? Why don't you just move in? <laughs> okay, Chico. We're not married. I can't move in with you. Okay, so... 
Marry me then. No, oh, please stop. You play too much. Stop joking. Come on. You play too much. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Hey, my baby. Hey, my baby. How are you? How is school? Very great, mom. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be coming home by the weekend. That's great. Well, Ikechuku cannot wait to meet you. I'm at his place at the moment. Ikechuku. Is that the full name? <laughs> yes, that's his name, Ikechuku. Um, look, baby, I'm sorting out some things, okay? Can I call you back later? All right, mom. Talk to you later. Okay, baby. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Bye. Oh, that's great. Chef <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Yeah. This is the dinner you're making. Right? Mm. <laughs> I'm still making it, you know, making something absolutely delicious for you. Like, I, I want to make it very special just for you. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. I can't wait to have a taste of uh, it. I'm sure you'd be so amazed. <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, so, my daughter is coming home this weekend oh. from school. And um, since I'm here, I just want to ask your permission if it's okay for her to come meet me here. Why do you have to ask for my permission? <laughs> Of course, I mean, I'll be so thrilled to see her. You know, I've been wanting to meet her, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew you were going to be okay with it, but I mean, <laughs> I had to still ask because this is your house. Hey, so. come on. I mean, she's like, um, she's like a daughter to me now, so. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For nothing. Okay, so the yeah. food. Okay, so I have to get done uh, oh. your... Yo, I'm hungry now. I know. Let Chef. me just let me just finish Chef. up. <laughs> let me finish up and get you your meal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> going to send me back home today again and not even a hug from you hey um adibe yeah so uh this is this is my cousin okay i i call her poppy <laughs> yeah poppy she she likes poppies and um, yeah, Poppy, this is this is the woman I, I, I this is this is the woman I spoke to you about. Ikechiko, did you just say she's your cousin? Oh yeah, she's my co. You don't believe me? I mean, even if you don't believe me, look at our nose. We have kind of like the same nose and the same lips and our eyes a bit, even the shape of head. <laughs> my cousin. Yeah, Poppy, uh, like okay. I. Okay. Welcome, cousin. <laughs> Is this the woman you're in love with? Listen, you just showed up. You didn't even tell me you were coming. Why do you always do this? See, I, I have to go explain things to her, okay? I just have to find a way around this, but excuse me. Hey, Adibe, I'm so, so Who is that girl downstairs? And please don't lie to me. I told you she was my cousin. Your cousin? Right. Ikechuku, can you please just leave the room? Can you please excuse me? See, um, Adibe, I I'm so sorry. I know I should have told you that she was coming, but she didn't even tell me. She just showed up unannounced. That's fine. But can you just... 
just leave, please. I, I need, I need, I need space. I, I... Okay, Adibe, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. We... Ekachuku, can you just leave, please? Just go. Excuse me for a moment. I need space, please. Why didn't you tell me you were coming around? You, you just show up in my house unannounced? Huh? Really? I come here anytime I want to without telling you. So why should I tell you now? Is it because there's a woman in your house? Her name is Adibe. I know. Look, she's not comfortable with you around. I think the best thing for you to do is just to leave. We can always meet outside somewhere. Oh, wait. She says she does not want me around the house. She didn't say that, okay? But it is what it is. Just leave. Mom, what kind of mother are you? Why will you tell him to send me out of this house? I, I didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, let me tell you. Instead of me to leave this house, you will. Besides, are you not ashamed of yourself? Staying with a man you're not even married to. Kaima, you're crossing the lines. Let me cross it. It's what I want. Let me cross the line. Hello, Pelumi, what's up? How are you doing? I'm good too. And um, please, are you available for tonight? Okay, um, just that I really appreciate some company right now to grab a drink or something. Yeah, I need to get some few things on my mind. Oh, okay. All right, I'm coming out right now. See you. Get a little closer. This one is your chance to show me what you got. Like this. Look at my two. Where are you going? It's late. Where are you going? It's none of your business. Mind your business. Hey, come on, baby. She can go anywhere she wants to go at any time and come back, whatever. She's, she's not a kid. But it's late. And she's a girl. She shouldn't have her way every time. Just, just let her be, okay? Please. Let me be. It's okay. It's okay. Why do you care? It's fine. You'll be okay, all right? Easy. Easy. What happened to her? Easy. Easy. 
Easy. What happened? What happened to her? I think she's drunk. Drunk? Yes, ma. Why am I not drink? Come What's on, going on here? When did you start drinking? Um, I think she's drunk. Drunk? Is she just coming back? Uh, yes, Tolu just brought her in. All right. It's it's fine. I'll I'll take care of this. Okay, I'll, I'll sort it out. Why are you downstairs though at this time? Um, my, I just came to get water. Okay, it's all right. You just leave. I'll I'll sort this out. Okay. Oh, come here. Eh. Oh. Don't worry. Just go. It's it's fine. All right. She'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Right. Oh, let's do this. Careful. Oh. Work, work, work. Careful, careful. Why did you have to do this to me? What are you saying? I can't believe you're drunk. What has come over you? Besides, we are meant to have gone home today. Oh, Finn. I love you so much. Why did you have to bring another woman to this house? Listen, you're drunk, okay? And you're blabbing nonsense. So what you should do is sleep. You need to rest. We would have a chat tomorrow. Oh, you're still awake? Yes, I was um, waiting up for you. Oh. <laughs> How is she? Has she fallen asleep? Yeah, she... Is she going to be okay? Uh, of course she's going to be fine. I mean, seriously, I haven't seen her that way before. I, I don't know what happened. Oh. So you know her very well like that? Oh, yeah, I do, of course. <laughs> but, you know what, let's just go to bed, all right? We can talk about this in the morning. Okay. All right, come, 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 come. All right, then. Mm. Kaima. Why did you come back home late last night and drunk? What's your problem if I come back home late or not? It's none of your business. Kaima, what has come over you? You were wasted last night. And as you can see, I'm fine now. So please leave my room. Look, baby. Do you want us to go back home? Yes, mother. I want you to go back home, not us. Why would you want me to go back home without you? Why? Why are you asking me? Am I a child? I can take care of myself. So you want me to leave you here in Ikechuku's house? Alone? Do you think I'll snatch a man? You don't even trust your own daughter. Besides, you heard him said I'm his cousin. You know, I've been thinking about that. Why would Ikechuku call you his cousin? Surely you're not in love with him because he's too old for you. You can't be. Besides, I brought you up better. Mom, please leave my room now. Cut. Okay, I'll leave, but for now, It's 
too old for you, my foot. It's just 42. Listen, Kaima, you can't continue to stay here and create problems for us. Why did you come back at, at such a late hour yesterday, in that condition? Look, it's better you just go back to your mother, okay? Go back to my mother. Do you even know if I have a mother? Listen, at, at, at this point, I don't care whether you have, you have one or not. It, it's none of my business. It's just high time. I am going nowhere, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak with you gently, just so, I mean, you, you can understand me, okay? Adibe's daughter is coming here very soon. And I don't want you to influence her with, with, with this attitude of yours. I, I don't want it. <laughs> Our daughter is coming. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting her. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart, you're still on it. Um, do you want something? No, I just um, came to apologize for Kaima's behavior. I don't know, she's been a taunt lately. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. She's, she's young. She'll grow up. Besides, she's your cousin, right? So, yeah, let her be. Yeah, it's just that... Um, I just want her to leave before your daughter comes. I wouldn't want her to influence your daughter with her negative behavior. Uh well, no, actually, my daughter isn't coming anymore. She's spending some time with her friend's family. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's fine. All right, I, I still would love to meet her, though. Of course. All right, then. Yeah. Thank you. Your cousin, indeed. So, while we eat this delicious meal, mm -hmm. I have good news. Okay. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Actually, I am. Yes, I am pregnant. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Are you happy? Of course I am. Oh my goodness. I wish I can reach out to you from here. Okay. Kaima, where are you going? You don't want to finish Excuse your food? Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, Why don't you fi finish your food? It's okay, babe. Um, just, just leave her. It, it's fine. I mean, um, how did you find out? I mean, we've been here. Did you go to the hospital? Uh, no, you don't have to go to the hospital or always to find out if you're pregnant. There are other ways. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I, I somehow can't believe this. Wow. <laughs> um, can I speak to Kaima for a minute? Okay, sure. That's fine. I'll be right back. Good. Careful, you, you're carrying a baby now. Wow. Mother, how could you? Becoming pregnant for a man you're not even married to and openly announcing it with joy. Kaima, you know getting married to be Kechiko is not the issue here. If I wanted to, he would arrange it today. He's capable. However, we have decided to take things slow. Taking things slow? Mother, you've been residing in his house for months now. And I'm sure you don't even know where your own house key is. Mother, what kind of example are you setting for me? Kaima, you need to calm down 
and let it go. You cannot keep that baby. You have to get rid of it. Is something wrong with your head? Get rid of what? I can see that you've completely lost your mind. You better pull yourself together. So she's pregnant for you and you're happy. And you want me to stay in this house and share in the happiness. If it was any other woman, I would have endured. But definitely not her. Why? Look, have you met her before? Have you? What has she done to you? Listen, Kaima, I, I understand your, your care and your love for me, but you're too young. Okay, I don't engage in such relationship. I don't. And I told you this the very first time we met. I can't do this. You're young for me. Well, as for me, I'm not giving up. All. So you have to make up about that pregnancy. Or I'll, I'll reveal everything you don't want her to know. Because I won't sit here and watch you love and care about her while she carry your child. It won't happen. Alina, are you okay? Why are you not sleeping? I'm fine. I just go back to bed. I'll join you soon, okay? Are you sure? But you, you look worried and besides, you don't play with your night's sleep. What's going on? I just feel like being awake, okay? I'll come to bed soon. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Kaima, Kaima! Please, I need you to tell me. What problem do you have between I and my woman? Please. Is that why you patched into my room like that? Your room in my house. Kaima, why, why, why do you hate her so much? Huh? Listen, that woman is the only reason you're still in this house. Otherwise, you would have been out a long time ago. You dare not. You can't. Plus, I'm sure she'll not even allow it. Listen, we are going to keep the baby, and I owe no explanation to that. No way she finds out you've been sleeping with the girl you claim to be your cousin. I see. It is this supposed to be a threat? Hmm? You know what, I'm, I'm just going to sort you out. It's not a problem. Ma, you sent for me. Yes, I did, Tolu. Um, Tolu. Yes, ma'am. Kaima visits here often, correct? Yes, ma'am. Um, do you have any idea the kind of relationship she shares with Ikechiku? Yes, I do, ma. I do, I know. Please tell me. You're set, sir. Yeah, to know. Um, if Madame asks you Kaima is to me, just tell her that she's my cousin, okay? Okay, sir. All right, give me the car keys. I'll drive myself. Okay, no problem. Yeah. I'll see you, sir. She's Oga's cousin sister. She's his cousin? Yes, ma'am. I'm sure, ma'am. Really? <laughs> is that what he told you to tell me? Why is everybody lying around here? 
What's this? What's going on? I know that those two share something and I will definitely find out. Tolu, you can go. Oh, is that all? Yes. <laughs> His cousin. <laughs> You look worried. Is everything okay? I... I want us to talk. Of course we need to talk. What's up? Um... Aribe, I, I know I might sound stupid now, but... Um, what? what? About about the about the baby the, the, the child. I, What's wrong with the baby? Are you gonna have the baby? Are you gonna have the child? Are, are you keeping it? Where is that coming from? When I first told you about the baby, you were very excited. What changed? Why are you, why are you now asking me if I want to keep the baby? Where is this question coming from? Listen, it's, it's really not that. It's just... Uh, you're aware we are not married, right? And having a child, being a single mother to your daughter, and, and now uh, this, I feel... Ikechiku, are you all right? Did you by chance hit your head or something? What are you saying? What's this nonsense? Now listen to me. With or without you, I am going to have this baby. I am not going to terminate it if that's what you're implying. You know, now, now that I'm thinking about it, coming from a man who lost his wife and his unborn child at childbirth, I am deeply disappointed in you. Excuse me. Don't budge into one's room like that. Will you shut your dirty mouth up and sit up? Sit up! We need to have a conversation. What is the relationship you share with Ikechiko? I don't understand. You don't understand? What transpired between you two when he sneaked into your room last night? I still don't understand. Where's all this coming from? Young lady, you better start talking. Don't play dumb with me. I am your mother. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Really? But yet he wants me to get rid of my unborn child. Only after seeing you last night. Nothing happened. Kaima. Nothing happened. But he wants me to get rid of your only sibling. Mona, please don't do this. Just stop. Nothing is happening between me and him. I am confused. I am very confused. Firstly, Ikechiko introduced you to me as his cousin. While I was still trying to comprehend it, you told me not to tell him that you are my daughter. What is all this secrecy? What exactly is going on? Now look, if I do not get an honest and a sincere explanation as to what is going on, I will not continue like this. Mom, please don't do this. Mom! Mom! Mom, stop! Mom! Let me be! Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you want? For me to lose the pregnancy? I bet you're happy now. You're happy if anything happens to me. What is your problem? 
You don't even care if I survive it or not. What kind of a child are you? Kaima! What kind of a child are you? Don't touch me. Ikechuku! 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 Where's your boss? He just drove out now. Okay, he'll come back and meet me. You can go. Okay. Mom, please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Kaima. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. Mother, please, you need to get yourself together till he gets back. Kaima, not another word from you. If there's anything Ikechuku will tell me, you should be able to tell me to so start talking. If he wants to tell you anything, then fine. But as for me, I have nothing to say to you. Kaima, what is going on? What have you done with my daughter? Am I dreaming or something? Because what has come over you? You are definitely not my daughter. Kaima. Well, you can walk away all you want, but we will have this conversation. I will get to the root of it. Easy, sir. Easy, 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 easy. What happened easy. to him? He's drunk, ma. He's drunk? Yes, ma. It's okay, you can go. I, I should go? Okay, please, just help me. Let's take him upstairs. Kechuku. 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 Why? So the only way you can cope with the sorrows and sadness that you, that you go through is for you to drink to stupor. Even if you want to drink, which is, which, which, which is not a problem, why do you have to drink excessively? You came back home last night. You were so intoxicated. You were so drunk. Why? And then you had to drive in that state. Why are you subjecting yourself to that? Ikechuku, you promised me that that was never going to happen again. And yet, you, you did the same thing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry is not going to change anything. It's not going to make anything better. Ikechuku, the amount of sorries I've heard from you would last me for the rest of my life. I am tired of hearing I'm sorry and then you go back to do the same thing. I had a number of questions to ask you yesterday, but of course you disappeared. And then when you returned, you were so intoxicated and, and, and I couldn't go on with my questions. But I still have the questions. So we need to talk about it. I'm going downstairs to make breakfast. I want you to go and freshen up and join me at the breakfast table. Now, if you as much as lie to me about, even if it's one single question, just know that I will pack my things, I would leave, and you will not see me again. Excuse me. Stand up and freshen up. Where were you last night? Hmm? And how could you tell that woman that I told you to tell her to terminate her pregnancy? Hey, shh. You're shouting. She could hear you. What are you talking about? I didn't even do anything. I, I didn't tell her that. Well, that's how it appears. It seems as though I sent you to do so. Plus, she saw you sneak into my room last night. That's a lie. Well... It's the truth. Hey! What's going on here? 
Martin. Yeah. <sighs> well, cousins, breakfast is ready. Okay. Okay. And as we eat, bless this food, Lord. Amen. 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 Not so fast. I have many questions to ask the both of you. Ikechiko, the fact that you have been lying to me all this time, thinking that I am naive, you know, it, it, it beats me. And as for you, my once loving daughter, Kaima, who has changed overnight. Who are you? I don't even recognize you anymore. You know, I am so curious and wary as to what is going on. The deception and the lies and the games that you both are playing. So now, Wikechiku, I ask, how did you come to know my daughter? Wait. Did, 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 did you just say your daughter? That was not a question I asked. How did you come to know my daughter? Mom, would you shut up your mouth before I slap the taste out of it? Back to you, Ikechiko. How do you know my daughter? Sir, you sent for me. Yeah, Tolu. Um, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay. You know, since my wife passed, I have not been involved with any woman. And um, I believe that I have put in quite a lot of effort. So right now I think that I'm ready, I, I need a woman. Sir, what exactly do you want me to do for you? <laughs> you sound like a native doctor. <laughs> Okay, um, I just need you to go out there and find me a very beautiful lady. And I'll pay. Whatever the amount is, I'll pay. Okay, sir. I will do just that. Just give me the some way you do for yourself, right? I'm innocent, sir. I'm innocent. <laughs> just give me some minute. I will be right back, sir. Okay, too long. I'll be right back. Um, I'll, I'll meet you outside. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good evening, sir. Good evening, young lady. What's your name? You can call me Poppy, sir. I can what? <laughs> Uh, Poppy, uh, you mean like, uh, like a dog? What's that? Give me a minute, I, I'll, I'll be right back. Just one minute. Here, here, I've been looking for you. Um, why did you bring an innocent girl to me? Can't you see how young she is? Her name is even Poppy. Poppy, I mean, who, who, who Sir, again? I am sorry. I thought you liked them young and vibrant. Young blood. Come on, Tolu, what is young blood? Do I look like I'm, 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 I'm a matured man? I need a matured lady. I, I don't do... Do you want me to kill someone's daughter? Listen, right? It, it's fine. She, she can just be here tonight. Right? After tonight, you, you, you take her back and drop her where you got her from. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma no problem, sir. No problem, sir. Big thing, Susie, sir. Oh, 
uh, Poppy, Poppy, right? I am I'm sorry I kept you waiting, but uh, we, 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 can, we can go. Go to the room now. Help yourself. I'll just lead the way, okay? If you have to hold on, I'll lead the way. Are you ready for pop, eh? to do anything. No, I don't want to do anything. But we like my money tomorrow morning. Seems you're new to this. This is my first time, sir. Why? I'm a student. And I need the money to address matters relating to school. My mom is a single parent. And she has made so much effort concerning my education. And she recently just paid my school fees. So I don't want to bother her with this. I was out with one of my friends and she introduced me to the opportunity of meeting rich men outside the club. Coincidentally, your driver appeared and he offered assistance. Go to bed. You'll get your money tomorrow. Are you sure? Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, I'm leaving already. Oh, I see. Okay. Um... All right, here. Yeah. That's a hundred thousand. Take care of yourself, okay? Thank you very much, That's sir. Okay. I really Not appreciate it. I really appreciate it. It's fine. That's fine. But, sir, please, can I get your contact? Why? Please. All right, then. Um, zero eight zero. I walk my ass out every day to make sure that I provide for you and that you are satisfied. What was the problem? It was never enough. Mom. Was there anything you've ever asked me to do for you that I couldn't do or that I didn't do? I remember when you wanted this phone so bad and I couldn't afford it. But I made sacrifices and I bought it. Well, what have you ever asked me that I did not provide Kaima? You were stressed. I wanted to help. I'm 
sorry. Pikachu, please go on. Tolu? What's happening? The girl that was here the last time. Yeah. You invite her again? Me? No, I did not. Let her in. Just let her in. She let her in? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sir. <sighs> what do you want? It's nothing, sir. I just came to check up on you. <laughs> you came to check up on me? Yes, sir. Preston. So as you can see, I'm... I'm okay. I'm fantastic. You can leave. Go back to wherever you're coming from. Okay, sir. But uh, I'm thirsty. Can I get a glass of water, please? Thank you, sir. How can I help you? Nothing, sir. I came to say thank you for the money the other day. Mm. It solved my problems, mm. and I still have some left. You still have some of the money left? Yes, sir. Oh, so it's, it's fine. Good for you. Do, do you want some more money? I know, sir. But I'm hungry. You're hungry. <laughs> you know what? Um, I, I mean, I, I didn't cook. But the kitchen is well stocked, so... Feel free to make anything and cook whatever and, and eat. Thank you, sir. But what about you, sir? Let's just see how your food tastes first. Okay, sir. Thank you very much for coming around and cooking a delicious meal. I really enjoyed it. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Um, I know you're leaving, so yeah. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. Okay, so um, I don't know. I'll see you. <laughs> And that was how she kept coming and coming and we just... And I fell in love with him. But he has always looked at me like his daughter and treated me that same way. I am so disappointed in the both of you. 
especially for the fact that you both concealed this from me. Why didn't you tell me she was your daughter? Kaima walks in here and I was surprised that my daughter found where I was. While I was trying to comprehend what was going on, you came and introduced her to me as your cousin. I... How would I have told you she's my daughter when you, 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 you... I was dumbstruck. I was surprised that you called her your cousin. I am the fool here and I'm sorry. Please excuse. When you finish crying, pack all your belongings. We will leave immediately and return from the hospital. We do not belong here. Huh? Uh, this one you're getting dressed, where are you going to? I'm going to see a doctor. I have an appointment. A doctor? I hope the baby is fine and you're good. It doesn't matter if the baby is fine or not. I'm getting rid of it. What? Are you... Are you serious? Adibe. Anibe, talk to me. Are, 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 you, are you serious? Are, are, you, are you joking? Of course I'm serious. Isn't that what you wanted? Anibe, please. Please, don't abort this baby, please. I'm sorry, Ikechiko. My mind is made up. I cannot marry or have a child for a man whom my daughter is in love with. How do you expect us to coexist under the same roof? Listen. Every time I see my daughter, it will remind me of all of the drama and the games and everything that happened. Adebe, please, okay? You, 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 you can't hurt that child. You, you can't hurt our, our, our child. Listen, we'll sort that out, okay? When, when, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. I, I would sort it out. I'm but sorry, please, okay? My, my doctor is waiting and he's a very busy man. Adebe, Adebe, don't, don't do this, please. Adebe. Please call your mom now, okay? Just call her and tell her to stop what she wants to do, please. Where is your phone? Just, just call her now, please. Yes, wrong, See, she, she's going to the hospital to get rid of the baby. Please, can you just call her oh now, please? Oh my God, what are you talking Where about? Where is your phone? She said she was going, but I never oh think God. it was for that. Where is my phone? Oh my goodness. God. Hello, Mom. Mom, please, please don't do this. I beg you, don't kill my sibling. He's the only one I have, Mom, please. It's too late, Kaima. I have made my decision. Pack your things before I come back. Like I said, we are going back home. Mom. Mom. What? Can I talk with what did you say? She's, what did she say? She's not angry. She's, she's, she's still going ahead with it. What do we do? What do we do? You're happy now, right? I, I, I guess you're happy. How could you? 
father, how could you kill your unborn child? How? That was what you wanted. I only just helped you, made it easy for you. So stop sounding as if I am the only killer here because you are an accomplice. Back to where you took me from. Back to my home, my sanctuary. Where all of this is drama is not going to happen at all. Hey, babe, why, why are you doing this? Why? Look, Ikechuku, I want to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. I appreciate it. And for all the handouts you extended to Kaima. Thank you. Adibe, Adibe, why? Why do you want to do this? You're tearing me apart. You, you want to watch me die? As long as you didn't die when your wife passed away, you will not die now. Let's go, Kaima. Kaima, Kaima, please, please talk to your Kaima, mother, let's please. go! You've been crying since we go back. You left your phone in the living room and he has been calling. Over 100 missed calls. Please talk to him. So I should talk to him because you love him, right? because she don't want to see him hurting. So he is more important to you than I, your mother. Mom, I didn't say that. I don't want to see you both in pain, especially you. I know I said a lot of things and awful ones are that. I crossed the lines and I am sorry, Mom. Maybe it's because it's the first time I'm loving someone. Excuse me, I need to be alone. Please just leave. Kaima. Kaima, go! Doctor, I'm doing fine. The baby is fine too. Did I just hear the baby? Um, doctor, let me let me call you back, please. Okay, thank you.
You're still pregnant? Of course I am. But I do not want to hear it outside. Mom! I love you so much. I know my mom is not mean. She's not wicked. I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, Mom. Mm. I love you so much. That's okay. Go and make breakfast. Okay, Mom. Mm. But yeah, Mom, he has been calling my lines as well since she won't pick yours. Don't you dare take that call. Mom. Fine. Hey, Kayma. Hi. Um, is Adibi around? Yes, she is. Okay. Can I come in? Sure. Yes. Let me get her. Hey Ma, what is this? I thought you told me it was the doctor. Ikechuku, what are you doing in my house? Adiwe. What gave you the audacity to show your face here? Adiwe, please. I'm sorry. Ikechuku, I need you to leave. Oh. Adiwe. You asked me to terminate the pregnancy, and I did. So you have no business here. Please leave. Ikechuku. I put my dignity aside and I adhered to your wishes of asking me to move in with you. Even though I knew that we were not married, we were just in a, in a relationship and, and, and it was wrong. But just to make you happy, I moved in with you. Then I get pregnant and you look me in the eye and tell me to terminate it. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I'm, I'm still trying to comprehend why a little girl such as Kaima would influence your decision so much. Ikechuku, the baby is gone. You and I, we have no business. So please leave. Adiwe. Leave! Ad Adiwe, please just listen to me, okay? No, I, I have nothing to say. Nothing. But please, for the sake of, of, of our unborn child, please forgive me. I didn't say anything to him. I don't know how he found out. Trust me, she, she, she didn't tell me anything, okay? But, Adibi, I know you. You can't do that. You, you can't hurt, you can't hurt a fly, not, not a talk of an unborn child. You won't. Please. I'm sorry. Mom, please, forgive us. Especially me, I'm sorry. at the door. Okay, Mom. How are you? Thank you. Hi, Ada. Hi. <laughs> you look really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Please sit. Um, what if I just want to stand and stare because this is a better angle. <laughs> okay, do you. Please Ada. sit. Ada. My one and only Ada. I'm aware that a lot has transpired between us. The very first day that our path crossed, I, I just sensed that there was something extraordinary about you. Your smile, your laughter, 
your kindness have illuminated my world Ada every day spent with you has been a treasured gift one that I hold really close to my heart and I make this promise Ada to cherish you to love you and to support you forever that being said um, I implore you to go on this journey with me Ada Adebe will you marry me Adebe Yes.